Hey, it's Ocean, and I'm going to show you how to make your game go from this to this. So stay tuned and watch, and I'll show you how to make your game look 10 times better. So currently right now I use G Shade, which is actually similar to Reshade, which a lot of simmers in the community use to enhance their graphics. Unfortunately, it is only available for Windows and not for Mac, so I'm super sorry. But I am going to show you how to install it, and we're going to get right into it. So if you're on Windows, you're going to click download. Now it's going to ask you to select your language. So I'm going to choose English and hit OK. You're going to go ahead and agree to the terms. And now you're going to choose where you want this program to be located, which this program is actually compatible with Sims 2 and 3. Now I will say this may be different for all of us, just depending on where you have your Sims 4 in Origin. I actually have Origin on my D drive. So I went to my D drive where I have origin um, at, and then I hit origin Sims. I click on the Sims 4, scroll all the way down to where you see game. And when you click this, you'll see a folder, two bin folders. You're gonna click the first one that just says bin. And then you're gonna click on the Sims 4 by 64. That is going to tell this program that you want it to be used for the Sims 4. It works very similar with the reshade installation. So you hit open and then click next. So here you choose 64 bit, direct X9. And for the hooking, you're gonna choose normal. And then as optional, I let all of this stay checked except for this one, enable desktop update reminder. Um, I don't need that because I'll just go back and forth to the program to check. And there are also some other presets that you can download. It says Final Fantasy presets, but I didn't download any of those. So then you click install and it will install the program hit next and now it's going to ask you where you want your screenshots to be saved when you take pictures with g-shade this is totally up to you wherever you have your screenshot folders or wherever you can even like create a new folder if you want your pictures to go there or just send it to, to the pictures folder so i have a specific folder for reshade photos so that's where i'm going to send it and then hit finish um so it asks you if you want a guide and now we're going to click no and now as you can see you have a g-shade control panel right here and so i'm going to open it up and here we go, here's G-Shade, here's the actual program. This is what I like about it because there's like an actual program for it. Here is where you can add new games that you want to install to be compatible with this also. And here is where you will also add your, or convert your presets, your reshade presets. Now, I'm gonna show you this way because the tutorial that I watched did it this way. However, this is not how I do it. I just throw my reshades in the actual folder. So here's where you go to convert your reshade presets that you've had. So you could open up a folder or make a new folder in your documents or on your desktop, for instance, and throw in the old presets that you have from reshade and stick those in there. If you haven't download in, downloaded any so far, you can still use this method to convert them. For the sake of this video, I put some reshade presets into a G shade folder that I have on my desktop. So I'm gonna just hit okay and boom, it says the preset conversion is complete. So after you convert those reshades, you are going to go to the Sims 4, open the file location. And as you can see here, we're in the bin folder again that we installed G Shade on. So after you do that, we go to G Shade presets, hit custom, and there are no reshades in here yet. So that is where you will actually go and grab your folder that you put in your desktop or wherever you put it, open that up. And what you're gonna do is throw in the reshades. So basically what you're gonna do is drag the reshades that were converted into the custom folder. I know that looked a little confusing. So the way that I do it, honestly, I just go back to the bin folder and I just open up gshade-presets click on custom and I just drag <laughs> the reshade preset that I want in there. And I haven't had any issues so far. So if I run into any issues, I'll probably convert the reshade presets. But G Shade actually supports a lot of the same um, shaders and effects that reshade has. So I haven't ran into any issues so far. I just wanted to make sure I showed you that because the tutorial that I watched did that. So I didn't want to like, you know, leave you out back. Okay, so the Sims 4 is now up and G Shade is installed successfully. So when you first load it, you're gonna hit Shift F2. You can change this if you like. Um, they have a little tutorial talking about hotkeys and just certain things and I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. So going to settings, um, as far as the overlay key, Shift F2, I kind of like that to bring the screen up for the shader toggle key which is going to turn the shader on and off on and off so you can test it out is shift f3 and i leave that also 
The only thing that I change is the screenshot key. I normally like to just make that the print screen uh, key on the keyboard. I like that and you can still change the screenshot path here if you need to. You can also change up the interface if you want to make it dark or light. Uh, you can make it like reshade three, four. <laughs> it's, it literally looks just like reshade, but it's just for some reason my computer just handles it way better. So I kind of like the dark mode right here. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And if you click up here, um, it should just kind of bring this up already, but hit custom and you'll see all of the reshades that we placed in here. So we are in game and I don't have G shade on right now, but we're gonna hit shift f2 we're gonna go ahead and click on nubu which is a little shade that i made when i first <laughs> downloaded g shade i really really like it because it's just kind of really simple and everything so as you can see things are a little bit more contrasted and we can flicker it on and off so if i do shift f3 you guys can tell that you're going from this to this so i just added a little bit of color and shadows nothing too crazy because i don't like my g shades looking too unrealistic while i do everyday gameplay and just a key thing if you're going to play with the gameplay reshade make sure you do performance mode check performance mode on it'll help it run smoother but if you're editing a g shade preset or flipping through them turn off performance mode so that you can do that which is exactly what we're about to do we're going to turn it off so the preset that i've been using is kindle spice dove 2.0 for my builds now it looks a little bit different here and that that is because the MXAO actually is not going to show up unless, let me turn the shader off, unless you go to game options and you turn off edge smoothing. So edge smoothing cannot be on when you're using like uh, shaders with depth of field or if you're using them for their shaders that have the, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, MXAO, which are just <laughs> fancy names for some other um, cool effects that the program offers and reshade as well as you can see with that edge smoothing the items look really sharp and stuff like that that's why i only use this to capture photos and for building but here's what happens when i turn on that same shader like kindle spice dove is just so like i love 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 it there is an extra shadow here which is that mxo mxao that's how i get that really cool effect on the builds it looks really nice you can toggle it on and off and it looks just really really cool i love it on you can edit it you can take Take it down a lot a notch if you want to just don't re-upload unless you give the creator like credit and stuff like that because i know i would want the credit <laughs> especially just all the hard work to make this um this specific shader now i'm going to show you another uh preset this is honeybee by moon syrups and i just really like this one especially for pictures and stuff so i went into tab mode and just kind of like you know move my camera right here and this is what i love i mean it's so perfect for screenshots for thumbnails gameplay pictures you can also again take off the mxao which is like the shadows and stuff so with this preset you have a little depth of field action going on so you definitely need edge smoothing off for this one as well so that the depth of field in the mxao can work so that's what i use for some really awesome shots i can hit print screen and you'll hear like a camera kind of a sound effect and I really like it. Obviously you probably couldn't play in this, but for screenshots and stuff, it's great. You can just tweak it for like gameplay and everything like that, but I really use these type of presets for photos. It really saves a lot of time in Photoshop and makes everything look so much better. Here's another preset called Pumpkin Pie by Soft Pine. It's really, really cute. I really like this one. You can take it out performance mode and again, kind of like adjust the preset to how you would you know, like that's a little advanced, but it's super easy because you're just like kind of dragging where you would want it. Chances are, if you are using a uh, reshade already, then this is like not new to you. But just in case you are new, it's really fun to like play around with this type of stuff. I love it though because you can have like again, like it just sets a mood. Like, isn't this just gorgeous? Like, without and with, so you could just make like a whole new vibe to your game. Um, but I'm gonna switch to Nubu, which is like super simple, hit performance mode. Um, it's a very simple preset and very reminiscent of Ocean Light if you uh, use that one, if you like the one, if you like that one that I used. I also like presets that don't change too much in create a sim and that's why i made ocean light and simple sim originally those are like old reshades that i made um and i like this because it doesn't really change the sim too much in create a sim and that's what i like because i don't want the sim to like you see this like here's without re um my reshade or g shade <laughs> i get it confused sorry here's without g shade and then here's with so i just need something that will just make the 
you know, the sim kind of like a little bit more contrasted. I don't really like them to look too light or like wash their skin color and stuff. I don't like that. So I really love this one. I mentioned this in my must have mods video, but you'll notice that my create a sim lighting may be different from the game's default. And that is because I do use um, Simply and Juta's cast lighting. I really love that. I will link that video at the end as well because it's really important because I include some lighting mods that I use, which is, this is one of them. Um, so I needed the reshade or G shade to be compatible with the lighting mods that I have in game too. Speaking of lighting mods, for example, I'm gonna turn off all the lights upstairs really quick. Um, you, you may not be able to tell because it's not really nighttime, but actually no, you may be able to tell, but normally there's like a little blue tint to the Sims 4 game. And so I use a lighting mod um, called Out of the Dark, which actually kind of makes it more natural lighting, not you know so you don't have that blue tint i hope this helped you guys out if it did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you uh in the next video um everything you need to download will be in the description down below thank you for watching all right peace out